Hi, I'm Ellie from Crystalings.com. Today is Sunday, July 30th, 2017. Uh, this week in the news, there was an article that said a group of scientists in Oregon have successfully modified the genes of embryos using CRISPR, that's capital C-R-I-S-P-R, to cut and paste genes. In other words, what they are looking to do is modify the genetic code of certain people so that they can delete, okay, um, the things in, the hum in human genetics that cause illness, disease, and so forth. It's a really good idea and it's an old concept that human genetics has been modified since day one. We can go back and say that these are experiments that have happened in current day science. We can also go back and say we are, humanity is, a biogenetic experiment set in linear time for a purpose and that purpose is to experience emotions. It'll always be the good and the bad, the positive, the negative, all set here in different timelines so that we can experience through our DNA genetic codes. Let's go back. Science is definitely working to help people modify their genetics and extract out of embryos that which will be detrimental when the baby is born. Great idea. Sounds good. Cloning, I've heard so many stories about cloning our DNA. Some of it's sci-fi, some of it's real. Don't know what's true or not. We know they've cloned animals, but have they actually cloned humans? Some people in covert circles tell me, yes, this is going on for a long time. Some even more covert say, yes, we've even cloned the presidents and, and, and all these famous people to do somebody's bidding. That could make a little sense in the Trump scenario, but we don't want to go there today. Okay, so we have humanity. Let's go to pseudoscience. We know what the scientists are doing and they are making progress. In the world of pseudoscience, who created humanity and to what end? Depends which civilization you go to because basically going back to the beginning, we go to what's called ancient alien theory, saying that humans are a biogenetic experiment created, depending who you ask, for different reasons. Okay, there were early humans, allegedly uh, aliens came down and bred with these early humanoids to create the more human person, okay, the more human design, that's a possibility. There are aliens who are creating humans, putting them into different storylines, and seeing how they evolve, seeing how they do, deciding either, oh, we don't like the experiment or it didn't turn out right. The same as if you were working in a lab and you'd say, no, nah, we don't like this. And to end the experiment, we believe there are things called flood stories and ice ages, okay? Flood stories refers to the fact that we really live in a consciousness simulation, okay? It's a collective unconscious comprised of consciousness grids and when we say we live in the flow of the collective unconscious, that means our consciousness moves in and out of different grids. And that's who we are, and that's what we do, and that's what we experience, and that's how we learn and grow. Okay? Are we a more evolved species based on human biogenetic experimentation by aliens or the hologram itself or the hologram that had aliens create us in various shapes and forms, that's up for anybody's guess. I mean, there's going to be so many theories out there, okay? There always have been theories out there for decades. People have wondered what this is all about, where it's all going. Um, when I look at it, I always, no matter how I've ever looked at anything, I always come back to the same thing. We're a holographic simulation. So what we believe is real may or may not be real, okay? What you believe was yesterday may not have really happened yesterday. I know this is, this is getting a little bit off track, but the bottom line is we are created and we act out on our programmed DNA codes. You do what you do, even though sometimes you look at your behavior 
and you say, what did I do such a stupid thing like that for? It, it, this doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. And yet I did it. You did it because you programmed to do it. Uh, I know that takes off into another topic about free will and in the matter of free will. Um, do we have free will and everybody? We're programmed to believe in this particular part of the whole giant hologram. We're programmed to believe that if we're good people and nice people and decent people, we have free will and we can change destiny, our destiny, global destiny. I don't think so. We are programmed in the simulation and that's how we play out exactly what our programming is, okay? This is it. I would say that we are just part of a bigger group of subroutines in the simulation, if you will, and that right now, right here, right now, you're sitting here listening to this. I'm sitting here trying my best to explain that DNA splicing the fact that this is biogenetic experimentation to study emotions at this level in the simulation, that's what this is really about. That's what it's always been about. I can't say that we are more evolved or less evolved than other species. Uh, when you get to aliens, you know, we always go back to, well, if we are a biogenetic experiment, then it was some aliens who came down here. The greys who allegedly are still doing biogenetic experiments for whatever number of reasons, and you may have been abducted and experimented all. I'm not denying that. That's happening or happened. I think that's all done because we are coming to the end of the simulation. But then there are the reptilians and, and the effect of reptilian energy and reptilian programming, all that DNA snake stuff that you read about in, in lectures and in legends and you know all of what you've read about you have to kind of piece it together but we are definitely and humans and animals have always been part of a biogenetic experiment there are some people who like to take this into the space of did some of these aliens come down and do some genetic mixing with humans and animals and created some of the beings that you see when you look at the legends and you see human heads on animal bodies animal heads on human bodies did these did these ever exist were they real anything could be real why not don't discount anything maybe somewhere in some other part of the hologram these entities existed Maybe they influenced our growth. Maybe they've evolved themselves, these human hybrids, because we are hybrids, into the birds we see today or the animals we see today or whatever it is that we're supposed to look at and say, wow, we evolved from this and we evolved from that. It gets very confusing, I know. It's like, what is the truth and what is this all about and where is this all going? And how does any of this matter in who we are today, okay? In my thinking, if time was going to continue on, we would evolve to more evolved species. Will aliens, ancient aliens, current aliens, future aliens, whoever they are, will they come back, show themselves, for the, not because we see UFOs and all this stuff. Well, they show themselves in a proper way and sit down, stand up, whatever, and discuss with us whatever it is they know about the human biogenetic experiment. Will they do that? It's right now it's not looking that way. I know there are people who say, well, I go off planet and I've learned this and I've learned that and I've been to Mars and I've been through wormholes and I'm taken in all kinds of vehicles and, and I'm shown this and I'm shown that. Great then that's their experience. But for us, okay, we want to know what's going on. We want to see what's going on, not because the sci-fi show has created the potential of what could be going on, but because we really need to know. We need answers. We've reached a point in human evolution where we have technologies, where we have the desire not only to know where we came from, why we're here, maybe how we can make a difference, but where the heck 
are we going? Because we're not staying. We are moving along very, very quickly, okay? The way the DNA codes are now, people who, are, who have mental illness, it's being exasperated by everything that's going on by the closing of this part of the hologram or the whole hologram itself, in my opinion. Um, I've never before seen so many people who are on medications, uh, drink, take any number of drugs, even if they say, well, these are natural, you know, it's all very natural. Maybe it is natural, but the bottom line is your brain chemistry needs this in order to balance and in order to function. These are all very interesting parts of the biogenetic experiment that we call our reality. And we need to know more. We need to have answers, no matter how we get them. I mean, there's different ways. You may dream a dream, like sometimes I'll dream, and I will see entities. I will see myself, actually, in forms of greys, in forms of reptilians. Somebody took a picture of me two summers ago, just exactly two summers ago, uh, where I morphed into a reptilian. People who do this thing where they stare into my eyes and I stare into these eyes see me morph into a reptilian. Obviously, there is a part of me that's linked to reptilians somewhere out there, uh, that I'm a gray, that I'm an, another alien, that I'm, you know, the flowing priestess with the gorgeous long hair, or maybe I'm a guy and I'm a god. It doesn't matter. I am Ellie in Brooklyn. And I want answers. I want to know how this hologram works, where we're going, time to find these things out. I don't know if aliens are not coming down to tell us this because sharing this knowledge, they probably don't have all the knowledge. They probably just have knowledge that they're programmed to have. So if they're coming down here and scooting people off to their ships and different planets and different realities and all of that, great come back and share it or let the people you're allegedly taking to these places or these mental grids, because maybe it's just all a consciousness experience for those people, let them come back, bring some video, bring some pictures, bring, here's me, Ellie, talking to an alien from another planet. Let's have a little video. Let's have a little interview. I'm not interested in the glory. I'm only interested in the knowledge and the fact that everything around us socially politically, economically, uh, the earth changes, the climate, the natural disasters, all of this is imploding. And I want to know how and why and what. I want all the answers. And the fact that I even can create the concept in my mind that I get it all, so now explain it to me. I'm still waiting for someone to physically come down. I mean, I know a lot of you channel this entity or that entity, and they're explaining all these biogenetic experiments, and they say you're not evolved enough to know, or you wouldn't understand the symbolism if we showed it to you. Then dumb it down. Dumb it down to a level where the everyday human that maybe they created, maybe they didn't, can get the answers. Somehow I feel that other Ellie crystals and other realities have the answers, okay? She, she gets it. She's been shown by whoever, whatever, maybe by the collective unconscious, maybe science in another reality has allowed us to understand what the heck we're doing here. That's all I really want from all of this. So we come back to, we are a biogenetic creation. Hybrids, if you will, part alien, part human part, anything, it doesn't matter, okay? We are a biogenetic experiment set, set in linear time, okay? We are experiencing emotions, but the emotional codes that we are programmed with are really destroying human consciousness at too great a level. Uh, things are just happening too fast and are being mirrored outside, like bringing in a president like Donald Trump and his crew. Oh my God. I mean, that alone is enough to tell you that the human experiment is imploding, okay? So we need answers. We want answers. Maybe some alien somewhere or something somewhere will hear this and say, okay, we're going to come forward and explain. I don't expect some hokey god to come down or a god, you know, with a big 
beaked head or an animal head or any of that kind of stuff because that's not in our part of the hologram. So none of those gods are coming back. Just anything that can help us to understand, at least take a few more steps forward. Because as we know, with genetic engineering, all of our science, all of our tech, okay, came from what's called reverse engineering of alien technologies, crashed UFOs, aliens that are working with or within governments to advance our technologies. So if you're advancing our technologies, okay, we got that and we see where we've come in, let's say, since World War II, okay, so let's, let's go to 1930, now we're almost to 2020, in 90 years, how advanced we become. I mean, we could have had this advancement, why didn't we have it back in the days of Nostradamus 500 years ago, when he could have just typed out his quatrains and said, no, delete, 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 I don't like this, I don't like that. It's all for a reason and a purpose, but my flaw is patience. I um, I have been patiently waiting for answers, as most people I know in metaphysics and science, we want the answers, okay? We tediously research however your research is. Uh, some people tediously research in meditation and out-of-body experiences. Other people are doing it whatever way they are programmed. And the bottom line is the time has come. The clock is ticking. Linear time is about to end. And yes, when it ends and we all turn to light and energy, we will have all the answers. But we should have more now. I don't care how it comes, in what way it comes, through alien resources and not through information that is brought back by people who say they have been taken and shown things because they rarely if ever other than drawing some sketches they do not bring back tangible proof we need tangible proof we should be having it you know the world is fighting for freedom now you name a continent, a country, a race, a religion. People are fighting for freedom. They want answers. They don't want to be suppressed. They don't want to be kept in the dark. I mean, our DNA has evolved to the point where bring us the answers already. So on that note, when it comes to biogenetic experiments, we are just that that they are working with something called CRISPR and other things that, of course, are covertly kept. So only certain people know what's really going on with biogenetic experiments. Let's do a little X-Files here, you know. Um, we we want to get past the dramas and the emotions and, and what's really there. Uh, do I feel it coming soon? I feel it has to come soon, okay? The answer's about our genetic makeup, why we're here, who we are, whatever, it has to all come soon. There's no question about it. So you can reason it out any way you want. You could look around at your life and say, why are people getting so messed up, okay? Why is everything collapsing? Why is the levels of anxiety, I mean, they're everywhere. Even with people who don't realize they have anxiety, find out that everything that's wrong inside of them, all of their issues are because they really have anxiety and they go on meds. So what is this about? Where is it going? We need answers. And on that note, I say until the next, uh, the next blog uh, to be continued. Thank you and I hope you get the answers. And if you do, Remember to either email them to me with pictures, with video, put them on the website, and not hokey stuff. I was taken by aliens off to another space, off to another dimension, under the earth, here, there. Tangible proof, please. No matter who took you, no matter who's trying to explain our biogenetic experiment and where it's going, let's hear it, let's see it, and let's bring it.